Love and blessings guys. Chandan here from Healing Origins, local herbalist for Terabilis. And as I say, I'm going to court to go defend myself against this. In the event that you feel as if though you've been wrongly issued a ticket, then your court date is the 24th of March 2021. I feel that I need to do this simply because I constantly make videos to uh, share what I learn about the body's ability to heal, how we interact with the herbs that we have locally, and uh, also what we experience when we consume poisons in the food supply, and how we could use our medicines, our plants, to help take out them poisons and toxicity. So I make videos they explain how this could actually cause a negative effect on the body, right? So obviously when I get one ticket, I have to defend myself, you know, <laughs> that's just what I have to do. And, um, but I make a stand. I really didn't make a stand simply because my suspicion that this have to mask something else. This have to cover up something else. And I want to show another what. Because, in all reality, if I may get taken to court for something else, let go say, I may take care of somebody for a whole year and a half, right? And every day, I drop one lead drop a poison in for them food supply. I do it every day. A year and a half, that person dies of a mystery disease or a virus or something, right? But then somebody have evidence, proof that me, the drop that in a for them food, one drop, and they came to the station and the police asked me, show me the video, I said, Chandan, what you made to put in on this person food every day? And then I say, you know what? Fine. I made to put just a lead drop a poison. It's a lead drop, mild poison, never kill her. If you notice, I made to do it for a year and a half, and never kill her. I'm sure they would have looked at me and think I'm crazy and say, well, you give poison every day. Why well, you expect this person to not dead? Right? I know because I asked this to a police, and the police tell me straight up, but if you ever do that, and you ever tell police you do that, that that I'm a confession, you go in a jail, obviously you just slow poison the person. Well, exactly. I understand that slow poisoning could cause sickness. I understand that. So, when I am able to point out the many different drops, driplets, and, and different sprinkles of poisons in the food supply, where we eat, where my granny, your granny, your elders, the kids, everybody eat, have their thing. Drop after drop after drop, monosodium glutamate, aspartame, white and brown sugar, high fructose corn syrup, agrochemical poisons, refined hydrogenated cooking oils, growth hormones, preservatives, artificial colorings, dyes, antibiotics, and so much more. And you can find it in the chips, the biscuit, the ramen, the soft drinks, the cheese, the milk, the meat, the flour, the wheat, the bread, you can find it everywhere. Drops and sprinkles of poisons that we are consuming, that is called slow poisoning. So if I could go to jail, or if I could get in trouble to slow poison somebody, who in trouble right here? Who in charge of this? Who want to take the blame for the slow poisoning of we people? Because when we finally express the sickness from this toxicity, from the slow poisoning, it get covered up and being told that we're invisible germ, that we're virus. And that's why I just make a stand. And that is a no, no, no. I know how the body express detoxification symptoms. And I know that we consume a lot of toxins. So when we detoxify and we have the symptoms of the detoxification of so much toxins, it is being labeled as something else. So if them want really take care of the elders, take care of the people who are poor, if they really may want to take care of people, if this was really about health, then could I provide fresh fruits, uh, poison-free fruits and vegetables, healthy grains, healthy oils to everybody.
to the people in need at least to the people in need at least but what do the people in need have the poor people the elder people who depend on disability or social security what they have they have access to cheap food cheap with no nutrition food cheap food we're full of damn thing right here we cause disease we are good people and then tell we that if we use this stuff to protect the rest but honestly the same health authorities from outside we allow all of this in the food supply and then we the import all the foods contaminated with this and the health authorities they ignore this they cover it up with this i don't think no no we should be able or should have to be forced to do a medical procedure we don't have to take a medical advice as mandatory from the ones who are allowing our food supply to be contaminated with so many poisons i hope people could say that what we have to do first and foremost than not this that deal with this problem right there because this they deal with something supposedly we can't see what virus we can't see while we ignore or we're being taught or distracted to ignore the real problems that we could see with our own eyes so that's all I did do you know I did defend I did get up and stand up like how Bob say you know stand up for your right yeah get up stand up don't give up the fight <laughs> because if we don't do it right now what will happen later see Texas we hear a lot of good news about Texas they don't stop use this thing a lot of other countries but don't stop use it and thankfully the Mennonite community never use it we show we that if you don't use it you're now and then according to the health experts from outside and say any community or any group of people will not use this oh no and start to dead like flies well thankfully the Mennonite community said no to that propaganda and then demonstrate that that the experts may either not know what they may talk about they may mistaken or they may lie either way I will stand up for my rights and I think that you know what I highly recommend that you really reconsider and you consider this type of information yeah because many are with suffer I get hundreds of messages every week from people who suffer from diabetes then granin have cancer their uncle the uh, renal problem with upon dialysis stomach um, issues gastrointestinal issues whole families with women with endometriosis fibroid cysts I mean my god so much so much disease and illness is scary you know when I get so much many people don't see it but that is why I didn't do it that's why when a police officer said why you didn't waste your time to go to court they don't want to hear anything from you I'm sorry I don't think that waste time I, I feel I did do something about the problem that's all I did do I just did try to do something about the problem and I hope you could do something too before it's too late anyway guys Love, blessings, that food be your medicine and not your poison. Take care. I want to update to know and see how we got a food. Bye, guys.